Hey, I've been sitting in this room talking to a camera for the last two years and I realized that I need to push this space into a direction that's gonna help me better do things for this YouTube channel and also for my courses and other future plans that I have. So I'm taking it for a redesign and I want to take you on this journey. Okay, ready? Let's see what we can do here. Okay, first thing is that I want to repaint that wall. It is black, but it's fading a little bit and I didn't really paint it that well in the first place, so I need to remove all that stuff from the wall and from around it. And then of course clean up a little bit. And yeah, there is a lot of stuff to move and I need to keep myself better organized and a little bit more minimal in the future. Disconnecting all the cables so I can finally move my desk, I'm not gonna detach the monitor, just gonna move the entire thing and now using some masking tape, I'm gonna go all around this wall, this time a little bit better than I did before. Okay, now let's mix the paint a little bit, pour it out and start painting. And I'm not gonna show you this entire wall being painted because that's pretty boring, that's kind of like watching paint dry. But I'm just gonna show you just a little bit so you can see the difference between what it was and what it is right now. And yeah, we are actually watching paint dry, but it's just for a few seconds. This is how it looks after it dried out and I assembled some furniture. Now it's time to clean the rest of the mess up and start arranging things. So I'm gonna show you this in a minute. I wouldn't really say this is Studio 2.0, but let's say it's 1.8. And I'm gonna show you just a little bit of what changed. So first of all, there's this new cabinet in this corner. Before it was like a huge mess of cables and all the routers and everything. Right now it's a little bit cleaner. There's this counter that I have here, some plants and a charger, plus the lamp in the corner just to give some mood in the background. And inside this, there is a huge mess of cables still, but at least it's hidden from view. So problem solved, right? Okay, looking to the other side, we'll have the desk, which is a standing desk, motorized, it works pretty well. Then, of course, the Keychron keyboard, my MX Master Mouse. I'm using the Mac Mini M1 for most of my current editing, but also I have that uh, MacBook Pro M1 Pro right in there for travel. Then the LG monitor, which I conveniently used a little bit of a, like masking tape to cover the LG logo in the center because I don't really like logos like that. It just looks a lot better uniform black. Then in the top part here, we have the poster that I printed made from this Qmorphic design that I created in Sketch on some live streams. And now let's slide into that side. So this is a cool idea that I had to use a microphone arm with like a little LED lightsaber kind of thing so I can just kind of move it around in any direction and just create some mood lighting for the background. Then there are some books in here and these are ones that I particularly like. My iPod Hi-Fi which is a beautiful set of machinery from the old age and I still use it because the sound is actually pretty good and this is my modded iPod that I love as my main music player. It has 256 gigs of storage and a huge battery which is like 50 hours of playback. Then we have the Spaceman figurine and now let's switch a little bit to this side. We have the Hype Neon and this is something that was not really related to Hype 4 but the name was similar so I decided to just buy it. Then we have my goal list on this little glass blackboard there and then another lamp, a mood lamp in the corner of the room. Then on this side we have my one wheel and my next skateboard. Oh, here it is. And that's because my main skateboard is in the hall. So basically my next skateboard is just standing here and I can mentally prepare myself for when my current board is simply not usable anymore. And yes, they chip quite a lot. Okay, let's put this back on. And I'm gonna bring the camera down a little bit. Okay, we're down to this little section here and this is all my camera gear. So all the microphones and all the dab cats and everything. And I even have like a little dead cat uh, box that it's sometimes open up, there's my GoPros and some tripods and stuff. But this is mostly stuff that I don't use that often. This is kind of like for the future. And it's mostly really cheap camera gear. So yeah, some books, some notepads in the back there. And then if we go to this side, 
It's a bit of a mess as well, but this is my gaming PC. There is some stuff like cables and little, little things basically in those boxes here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have a lot of stuff. So here is again from a more unusual angle that probably not many people see because I don't really record from this side. The window is back there, so it just basically is better lightning. And a little bit from this angle as well. And yeah, I really like it so far. There's gonna be some shelves on the walls here and there's gonna be some more stuff, some little things like little plants and little figures. But that's gonna come in the next iteration. So for now, this is it. This is my new studio and I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments and as always, have a beautiful day. Uh -huh.